Hi readers, we're gonna talk some more about We Are Storybook Readers. And remember, we look at the pictures, we remember, and we read. Look at the pictures, remember, read. And I was talking about this story, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. And just by looking at the cover, we realized there are three billy goats and they're three different colors. You know, maybe this one's the oldest, maybe this one's the middle. And let's see, maybe this is the baby one. I'm not sure. But the first thing I do, I look at the cover, which I did and we did together. And we kind of thought, hmm, what do we think this story is about? So I want to show you, after I read from, look at the cover, how I read the pages. Let's see. So we looked at the first page together. And the first thing we noticed was this billy goat is eating grass. Hmm. So let's see. I'm going to start reading the book. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. Well, okay, we figured out there were three billy goats. They all lived in a valley, and the name of all three billy goats was Gruff. Hmm, I didn't realize that. Let me move my marigolds. So all of the billy goats' names were Gruff. Hmm. That's strange, but who knows? Maybe they just all, let me just take this down. Maybe they just all call themselves gruff. But read the first page. Hmm. Then we looked at the next page. Just make sure I didn't skip one. And we noticed they're looking across the water. They're looking across the water. Hmm, probably because they want to go across the water. What do you think? Maybe they want to go across the water and eat some more because they like to eat grass. And I also notice if you look at the middle one, his tongue is out. I would say he's probably hungry. He might be hungry. So now, let's see. I see the three billy goats. The middle one's tongue's out, and they're all looking across the water. Hmm, they might want to get some food. Okay, now I'm going to read it. But we looked at the picture, and we predicted. And I hope that while you were looking at the picture, you were making predictions also. Okay, let's see. There was very little grass in the valley, and the three billy goats were hungry. Okay, well, we could tell that by the one, the middle one's tongue was hanging out. They wanted to go up the hillside to a fine meadow full of grass and daisies where they could eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Okay, so we kind of figured that out. Now we're gonna look at the next page together. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see what happens. And let's remember what we've seen so far. Okay, remember we saw, we saw the bridge and we saw, hmm, this creepy troll. Hmm, okay, so let's remember what's happening in the story. And you all remember, we saw the creepy troll. Hmm, and it looks like maybe the goats want to go over the bridge, but what's the problem? What do you think the problem is? Before we even go on, what do you think? Hmm. Are you thinking that the troll doesn't want them to go over the bridge and maybe he is gonna try to scare them? Maybe they're scared of him. I don't know, but maybe he doesn't, maybe it's his bridge. Maybe he's thinking, that's my property. I don't want those goats to go over there. 
but he doesn't really look very nice, does he? So I'm already thinking there's a problem. Are you thinking? So let's see. I'm thinking the goats want to go over the bridge, but what do you think the butt is here? I bet somebody out there is saying, the mean troll doesn't want them to go. Okay, so let's see. But on the way up, there was a bridge over a river. And under the bridge lived a troll who was as mean as he was ugly. So now we definitely know that the troll is a big problem. Okay, let's see what else. We're going to read a little more. But I bet you are going to be able to kind of figure some things out. So if you remember, the youngest goat we found out, remember? Was this the youngest goat? Okay. First, the youngest billy goat, Gruff, decided to cross the bridge. Trip! Trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? Roared the troll. I bet you can make a prediction. Bet you can make a prediction. Oh, it's only I, the tiniest billy goat gruff, said the billy goat in his very small voice. And I'm going to the meadow to eat and eat and eat. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. I'm too little, that I am, said the billy goat. Wait until the second billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well then, be off with you, said the troll. Hmm. So we can probably predict what is going to happen next. And the more we look at this book and the more we read one of our favorite storybooks, we can make the words and the pictures match. We can look at the pictures, we can remember, and then we can read. Okay. A little later, the second billy goat gruff came across the bridge. Say this with me. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. What's the troll saying? So we see the same words. Let's see. It's the same thing. We can remember what the troll said. We can say it. Who's that tripping over my bridge? Roared the troll. And it's also fun when you're reading to do voices for the characters. Okay, I've changed my voice a few times already. Okay, here is the second Billy Goat. And I'm looking at these pages and I am seeing some of the same words. Oh, it's only I, said the second Billy Goat Gruff. And I'm going up to the meadow to eat and eat and eat, said the Billy Goat. But his voice was not so small. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. Wait a little bit longer. Till what? Till the third Billy Goat Gruff comes. He's much bigger. Troll saying the same thing. I see the same words. Very well. Be off with you, said the troll. So again, we're looking at the pictures, we're remembering, we're reading. Up, oh, and this is the biggest billy goat. Then up came the third billy goat gruff. Say this with me. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. The third billy goat gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked uh, and groaned uh, under him. Now, we remember, we remember that this was the biggest billy goat. Okay. Let's see. 
see the same words from the troll. Who's that tramping over my bridge? Roared the troll. And we know from the picture he's roaring. His mouth is open really wide. So again, looking at the pictures, same thing. It is I, the big billy goat gruff, said the billy goat. And his voice was as loud as the trolls. And when you look at the letters, the way the letters are, they're all upper case. And that usually means the character is shouting, shouting. So you want to make your voice loud. Miss Seltzer has a loud voice. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Well, come along, said the big billy goat gruff. I've got two horns and four hard hooves. See what you can do. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh. So up climbed that mean, ugly troll. And the big billy goat gruff butted him with his horns. That means he went like this with his head and his horn. And he pushed him with his hard hooves. Hmm. Pearl is not liking this story. And he tossed him over the bridge into the water. Hmm. I'm not sure I like this story that much either. But it's a good one to remember. Let's see. And then the big billy goat gruff went up the hillside to join his brothers. Okay. In the meadow, the three billy goats gruff ate so much they could hardly walk home again. They are probably still there. So snip, snap, snout. This tale's told out. So, when we read this again, I bet we'll look at the pictures, we'll remember, we'll read. And you can do that with any of your favorite books. You look, you remember, and you read. And I just want to say one more thing about this story. Did you notice that the three goats really tricked the troll. The first one went over the bridge, said, wait for my brother or my sister. The next one went over the bridge, the medium sized one, and said the same thing. And then, so that means the two, the first two billy goats were already over the bridge by the time the third one came. So again, let's look at our, we are storybook readers. You can read this with me. We look right at the pictures, remember and read. Thank you for reading with me.